Revelation's success has given the Resident Evil franchise some life after 6's terrible launch, and with that the game earned its sequel. Now in Revelations 2, Capcom has retained the original game's personality with minimal but nice changes to its gameplay. After a long time since Cold Veronica, Claire Redfield has returned to the series and has been captured with Barry's daughter Maura Burton. Traverse, hide, and crawl your way out of this mystery island prison and survive the onslaught of horror. Gameplay in Revelations 2 is pretty much the same as the first, but builds on it for refinement. It still has the same camera style as Resident Evil 4 over the shoulder. Plus, once again you can dodge and swerve out of harm's way. And the knife mechanics remain the same, making the gameplay consistency in force which I like because you don't have to fix what's not broken, but master it. Guns are basic in the way they feel and in the starting rotation. So everything remains the same, but now there's a switching mechanic in areas that might not be available for Claire to reach, so you have to use Mora to do the work for her. This method can also be used to finish off opponents who are on the ground and open certain lockers and containers with Mora's crowbar. When playing Barry as well, long time no see, the small and somewhat confident Natalia is a little bit more useful in stealth and puzzle solving and gaining herbs when Barry's feeling low in health and vitality, which pretty much serves the gameplay much, much better. Both sides has their tedious angles and objectives but Barry's part was a little bit stronger. You also have co-op and raid mode, but I feel like the stronger experience is in the solo and both of those serve up as distractions. So for the final verdict of Revelations 2, I'm giving the gameplay grade a B for Claire and a B plus for Barry. Barry's campaign used a switching mechanic much more useful in the stealth and puzzle department compared to Claire and Mora. The replay value is shockingly low once you play it, you're not going to really want to play it again, but the raid mode still keeps it kind of relevant. And for the consumer price, buy that a full price, but for newcomers this is just the rent until the next series comes out. And then you probably probably want to buy all the chapters together to kind of marathon it. So for right now, rent it and see how you like it. Well that's it for today's video, but if you want to see more, go ahead and click on my main channel, Alter Element Games. There I have videos ranging from gameplay highlights, full video game reviews, music soundtracks from some of the best games, and gaming and news updates. Keep it live here at Alter Element Games, and visit my fan page on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for supporting my channel. Cafe LA, peace and love, I'm out of here. Alter Element Games where gameplay is everything.